Okay, we have question 5. If sine theta is equals to minus 3 over 5 and theta lies in the third quadrant, find cos theta. Find cos theta. We have some options. Option A, 4 over 5. Option B, minus 5 over 4. Option C, 5 over 4. Option D, minus 4 over 5. So let's get down to business quickly. Now we have, we're given that uh, sine theta, we're given that sine theta is equals to minus 3 over 5. Minus 3 over 5. Now, and we are asked to find cos theta. And we're also told that this sine theta is in the third quadrant which is true because uh, this is actually minus uh, 3 over 5 which actually means it's in the third quadrant uh, it could also be another quadrant but this particular question said it's in the third quadrant but let's begin first let's get uh, the value of cos theta then we put that we look at the value of that in the third quadrant so let's begin by looking at uh, the value of cos theta we know that from uh, Sokatua cos theta is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent over hypotenuse that is cos theta this is from the popular so ka tua which if you have done a trigonometry ratio or trigonometry you would have been familiar with this so uh, the one we are dealing with is uh, cosine cos theta which is adjacent over hypotenuse now we know that from pythagoras by pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem and this theorem states that for a right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse hypotenuse the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the square of the other side and what are the other side the adjacent and the opposite adjacent and the opposite and from here let's also draw another thing from here we know that sine theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse so since we already have opposite and from this place our opposite our opposite is 3 let me just make a box here from this place from here from here we see that our opposite is minus 3 not 3 minus 3 and our hypotenuse is equals to from here 5 our hypotenuse is 5 our opposite is minus 3 so we are able to substitute that this is square as well so this is confirmed to our pythagoras theorem that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the square of the other two sides the adjacent and the opposite so our hypotenuse is 5 so that is 5 square equals to our adjacent what we are looking for now so square our opposite we don't we know that as well that is minus 3 and that is square so let's just make uh, our adjacent the subject formula if we make our adjacent the subject of the formula our adjacent square so this will now be 5 square is 25 this is a uh, 3 square is 9. Okay, minus 3 square is 9. That is minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9. So I'm going to move this uh, plus 9 over to this side so that we have minus 9. And that will be equals to 16. That will be equals to 16. Now, my adjacent, because this is adjacent square, so let me just get adjacent. My adjacent will be equals to square root, square root of 16. And square root of 16 is 4 square root of 16 is 4 
Now, we can see that from what we have done so far, we can see that our cos theta, our cos theta will be equals to 4 all over hypotenuse is already 5, 4 over 5. But this is not the answer to our equation, though it's very close. Now, if you check through the option, you find out that option A have this, which is not the answer. There was a kind of details given to us in the equation that theta lies in the third quadrant. So we are going to go to the third quadrant. Now, if you look at, let me go, let me create it here. If you look at uh, a quadrant cycle, let me draw a quadrant cycle here. And we divide it into uh, four quadrants. Now, let's say this is the first quadrant. This is the first. This is the second. This is the third. And this is the fourth. This is the fourth quadrant. So we have the first quadrant, second quadrant, and third quadrant. Now, there are some acronyms we use here. We use A here. We use uh, C here. We use S here. And we use T here. What this means is that in the first quadrant, all the three tricks, trigonometry, are positive. That is talking about the sine theta cos theta and tangent the tan the sine the cosine and the tangent are all positive now here we have s which means only sine is positive in the second quadrant now in the third quadrant we have t t is for tangent now tangent is the one is third tangent is the only one that is positive which means the other two are negative here then in the fourth quadrant c c is for cosine now, it's only the cosine that is positive in the fourth quadrant. Now, let's go over to our, what we had. Since we were told that uh, theta lies in the third quadrant, this is the third quadrant. Now, by uh, if you actually look at this, how are you going to form this? This confirmed to a kind of an acronym if you move uh, clockwise, anti-clockwise rather. You're going to have something like cast. Cast. This acronym you can use to remember this. Cast. So I mean, if you're moving, uh, if you're moving a kind of, uh, let's say you're moving uh, anti-clockwise, going to have C A S T. Okay, let's go back to what we're doing. Now, in the third quadrant, this is the third quadrant. First, second, third. So in the third quadrant, only tan is positive. Now our cosine is negative, and our sine is negative. We are asked to find cosine. Now, don't forget that we had our cosine cos theta to be equals to 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Now, since it's in the third quadrant, our cosine is negative. So we have minus 4 over 5. That is the answer to this question. And if you check through, the correct answer there is D, which is the correct answer. So always pay attention to the details of every question because if you don't pay attention, you end up solving the wrong or uh, which you end up solving and get the wrong solution and by the time you check through the options especially for exam body like jam you will definitely find the wrong option among the correct options and the wrong option may look very close to the correct one because they know that some students will be in a haste to finish up this and in the process solve wrong questions so that is all for this so be careful take your time and solve but you're going to be a little fast anyway so just try your best and be as accurate as possible.